In this video, I want to go over the print plus cut feature in the StarCraft Create software. Uh, <clears throat> the first thing that I will tell you is that you need to calibrate your machine for print plus cut. So I'm going to link a video in the description below from Mr. Crafty Pants. Michael has a video on how to calibrate your machine for print and cut. This is the title of it and this is his YouTube channel. <clears throat> you can type that in the search bar and you can find his video that way. I suggest that you watch his video and my video because I go over some settings that I don't believe he went over in his video and also he uses a PNG file, I believe it was, and I'm going to show you how to use the um, SVG files. So let's go ahead and come here. What I've done is I got an SVG file, and it doesn't matter uh, which one you use. I'm going to just go ahead and grab this one for right now. And once you have your image, come to your layers panel and set that image in your style panel to print plus cut print, okay? And then you need something behind it or it's going to cut out all these words and all these little shapes. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a circle and... I will make a circle. I'm going to turn it white so it doesn't print. <clears throat> and then I'm going to select it and come to Object Arrange, Send to Back, and then I'll select them both. Well, before I do that, I'll grab my, uh, my circle here, and I need to set that to Print Plus Cut Cut. And then I can select both of them. And I can come to my position and size and align them and group them. <clears throat> now, you don't have to group them, but I do because if I accidentally click on it and move it, then I have to go back. I have to go through all that. So I just group them. All right. So that's how you can uh, print and cut around a shape uh, for an SVG file. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and delete that because I don't need it. Now, what I will tell you is on this image here, I have a green back, a green circle, okay? All the other ones are white. If I come to my documents panel and I show the page color, then you can see that these, if I cut it out of sticker paper, it's going to cut around the circles. It's going to print all of the words and everything, okay? Uh, this one is green, and... If I ungroup this, <clears throat> let me select it first. I have to ungroup the entire, um, all of the images, and then I have to ungroup this individual. Okay, so if I come to my layers panel now, I can go to my style and see that that's uh, set to print a cut plus print, okay? print plus cut print and then this one is set to cut and it doesn't have to be set set uh, excuse me set to print plus cut cut it can just be set to cut because if you go to create you're going to see it's going to print the color and then it's going to cut around the shape okay so I'm going to go ahead and group all these back, so just in case I move them. Uh, now I'm going to come to my document panel, and I'm going to turn the page color off. I'm going to turn on my print margins and my registration marks, okay? Now if I zoom in here, you can see the name of my printer here and my page uh, margins, okay? 
and then my registration marks. Now, I have my page size or my mat size set to eight and a half by 11 because that's the size paper my printer uses. And, you know, if you have a half a sheet of sticker paper or four and a half by five piece, then you would make this four and a half by five, okay? So you're not wasting material anymore. You can use smaller pieces. It doesn't have to be, you know, a, an entire sheet. And then you can only print and cut, you know, a six by nine, and then you waste all that material. You don't have to do that anymore. Now this does look like, oh, see, that's why <laughs> I group them. Uh, you can see this is quite a ways away from my border of my image, but I'm going to show you how you can fix that. So with these on, now if you come up to Cutter, Cutter Settings, over here under Registration Marks, you have some settings here that you can change. So I'm going to go ahead and change my mark size, which is my uh, registration size to 0 0.500 and then I'm going to also change this um, offset inset to 0 0500 <clears throat> and then I'm going to save it and when I save it watch my registration marks see how they got smaller and closer uh, so now I can Go ahead and move this up in that corner, and I can actually make these larger. As long as I check my registration marks and make sure that they are inside my print margin, okay, on the sides as well as the top and bottom. Now, this is my bounding box right here. I'm in the zoom tool. If I were to go here, then you're gonna see all these arrows and all that stuff. So I'll just leave it here for right now. So this is my print margin. This is my bounding box for my images. And then come down to the bottom and check the bottom. Now, this is too close, okay? This, all of this needs to be moved up and you know, that should be good enough. Okay. I can actually move my images all the way up, but then my registration marks are outside of my uh, print margins. So that is in this mode. If I go back to cutter settings, this is mark offset around design. So basically what that setting is, is it's the registration marks are attached to my design. So I can't make my design any bigger because then my registration marks go outside of my print margins. Unless I come back to cutter cutter settings and I change this to mark inset from print bounds. When I click that and I click save, watch what happens. Not much, it actually moved them in a little bit closer. So now I can, I can move these up and also they are no longer attached to the size of my um, image here. Okay, my bounding box is here. It's within my print margin. And my uh, squares behind here, I, I wanted to say rectangle. I don't know. I, my mind just went blank. Uh, I don't want these over, which actually they're going to be under <clears throat> my uh, registration marks because my registration marks are going to print. So I don't want them over top of my image. So let's come down here and look at the bottom. The sides look good and the bottom looks good. 
I can actually move this down now and be safe. Okay, I can make it larger. I can. I'll move this uh, about right here. And then I'll come, I'll zoom out so you can see a little better. And then I can hold shift and drag this out. And I bet it's over that registration mark. No, nope, maybe not. Let me zoom in. So, you know, you guys can fiddle around with this. I'm not going to waste your time doing it. Just make sure that your print, your image, and your registration marks is inside your print margin. This dark black line is your print margin. Okay. All right. So then if I come back to cutter and look, let's check the size on this first. Uh, this is 7.750 by 10.405. Okay. So let me zoom out a little bit so we can see. Well, I really want to see the other registration marks over here. Okay. Now, if I come back to cutter, cutter settings, and I change this to mark inset from page bounds, then I have a lot more room. See? So now I can select these and move them close to my registration marks, but not under. And I'll zoom out and then I can actually make these even bigger. <clears throat> I just need to make sure that I'm staying within my page margin, which I am on the sides. I am on the top. So let's come down here to the bottom. And I am in the bottom as well. So <clears throat> now what size do I have? 7.854 and 10.544. So you waste a lot less material, right? Okay, so the cutter settings that, well, first of all, what I suggest is that you uh, make your document page the size of your material, just like when you're cutting, okay? And that way, if you have a half a sheet of printable vinyl, you can use that half a sheet of printable vinyl, okay? Uh, so do that first, and then come to your cutter settings and change your mark size to 0 .500, and your inset uh, offset to 0 0.500 down here. And I like to use this one. I, for, I can get a full page of stuff. But it's up to you. You can pick whatever you want, okay? And then you can turn both of these off. Once you have your image set where it needs to be, you do not have to have either one of these on, okay? And then you're going to come to create and you're going to see that it's going to actually print this colored one and then it's going to cut all of these shapes out. All right. Now, if you're going to use your software settings down here, this actually needs to be 11, uh, then have this box checked. If you're going to set your machines uh, force and speed, then have this unchecked. Okay. And then you're going to choose print plus cut. And then you're going to choose print and your printer settings are going to come up here. Yours may look different than mine. Um, but you need to find your print registration marks and make sure that's checked and then come to properties and you're going to want to change your quality to high or best okay i'm going to leave mine on standard because i'm just printing on paper right now and i'm going to leave mine on plain paper but i can tell you that i used some old um, cricut sticker paper and it's really thick 
and I used it in my my Epson EcoTank 2720 on premium presentation uh, paper mat, and it worked perfectly fine. I didn't have any problems with it feeding through or anything. So change your paper type and uh, change your quality to high or best. And um, make sure that you do a test cut before you cut the whole page and it's off. You always, always do a test cut to make sure that it's weeding the way that it's supposed to, okay? And then you can go ahead and press OK. <clears throat> and then you'll press OK here. And then you, once it's printed, you will put this in your machine and it will print the registration marks and you're going to position your blade over the bottom right hand corner of that registration mark not of your material set your blade on the registration mark and then you'll click next and and after you click next then it's going to say start scan and once you click that button it is going to scan those registration marks and then it's going to cut out your shapes, okay? And I've already done this about five times today, so I'm not going to do it again right now. Uh, but, and then you're done. You have your stickers, okay? Uh, again, set your mat size to custom and set it to whatever size material you have um, to print and cut on. <clears throat> And then show your print margins and registration marks. Make sure everything's inside your print margins. Uh, I suggest if you want to print a whole page, an eight, eight and a half by 11, then change these to, you know, 0 0.500 for your mark size and also 0 0,500 for your um offset inset and change this to the bottom one which is uh, mark inset from page bounds and then check everything and then you can go ahead and turn your print margins off and your registration marks and go ahead and go through uh, the print settings okay so there's been um, a new setting added in the cutter window um, for your registration marks. Uh, apparently some people were having issues with um, like some of their middle images not lining up right. So now if you come to your cutter window, cutter settings, and you look under registration marks, you now have this use segment marks here. If you click on that box, um, you can set how many inches apart you want your registration marks to be. So if I set it at four inches, then you can see every four inches, I have new registration marks to read, and that way it will cut more precisely, like it wasn't precise to begin with, but you know, it's, it's a very useful tool. So I just wanted to add that. Thanks for watching. So I hope that this video has helped. Um, if you have any questions, uh, be sure to put them in the comments below and I will get back to you. Or you can normally find me in the 143 Vinyl Facebook group. There's a link for that in the description. And there will also be a link in the description for Michael's video on calibrating your machine, okay? So thanks a lot for watching.